All right, as promised, uh, the contestants for the 2015 uh, Carnival Queen pageant. Uh, in fact, they're coming in different numbers. Masana promised. Uh, one, two, and also the walking coach. Where's the walking coach, Ms. The Anna? walking coach is on yeah. Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. we have committee members. We're, we're talking to everybody because, um, right. you know, it's a big pageant and we're getting set for it. So we have, so so you've drawn your numbers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're one and two. Yes. So that means that's your order of appearance on stage. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, would be nervous. Yeah. <laughs> so we have in studio today uh, Miss Anya Erwin, who is uh, Miss Peter, and we yeah. have friends Celia Austin, who is Miss Digicel. That's Ooh. right. And they're in studio today. So they will be on stage one and two. Um, for the pageant on July 4th. So welcome ladies. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Thanks for having us. And they're so social. They're taking out their selfies mm. and, and <laughs> tweeting and, and Facebooking one time. That's good. That's good. They're doing that thing. All right. So you each um, have your own uh, Facebook profile, right? Yes. That's so true. that person's fan page, that person's going to go on and, and like it. In there, I see you guys keep it posted with everything that you That is doing. very correct. <laughs> so what is the journey been like? Because, I mean, the National Carnival Green Pageant is always a big one, and, you know, you guys are being looked at under a microscope. Oh. You'll have to sit a certain way, and you'll have to walk a certain way. And how, smile, yes. and all of these. Yeah. So I can only imagine, you know, how intense it must be just a little details you guys have to make sure you're always on point with what has the journey been like for the two of you it has been a very lovely one for me mm -hmm. and it continues to get better mm -hmm. although it has its challenges just like any other competition would have right I wouldn't say this as intense as you as your description mm -hmm. however there have been a few hurdles mm -hmm that I am slowly overcoming. All right. But so far, so good. Okay. I'm it's really exciting uh -huh. leading up to the day and every activity that we have to attend. All our functions have been very ecstatic, I must say. The committee's tried a very good job. My sponsor, on the other hand, has kept me very, has kept me very busy. Mm -hmm. And so everything is very exciting. Right, and friends, today, what was the journey like so far for you? Thus far, my journey has been extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Of course, Team Digital is definitely ensuring that things are happening and things are really flowing. So I'm really excited about that. I am so happy to be meeting so many new people. Mm -hmm. My costume designer, the team uh, associated with that, mm -hmm. my dressmaker is completely new to me as well. Even my talent people. My team is an amazing team and I love them so much because mm -hmm. they are really ensuring that everything is going smoothly. Of course, we have hurdles, as Anya said, but really that's part of the journey. Right. So I'm enjoying it. I am. Nice, <laughs> nice. So tell us about, because I, I don't think people quite understand what happens or the process with... Um, well, we'll be talking with the, the chaperones in the, in the coming weeks because we know the chaperones have a lot of work to do to get the ladies ready. But like you said, your team, do you yes. select the persons that you work with in terms of your costume design, your evening wear, etc.? Not in this instance. Mm -hmm. uh, the costume designers as well as the dressmakers were given to us by the committee, mm -hmm. the um, CPME. So they're new to most of us, ah, which okay. really makes the experience of holistic one mm -hmm. because you have a new team as well as your support system with you mm -hmm. through it all mm -hmm. so it's really bittersweet but mostly sweet at this point right right, <laughs> yeah. right and Anya what is it like working with you know all the the new designers and the, the thinkers for the pageant this year? well fortunately for me my designer uh -huh. is not entirely new to me Oh, okay. I have my mentor, Barry George, mm -hmm. who is building my costume. There's admiration from young girls mm -hmm. um, going to school and they would like to be like you, etc., etc. So the fact that you're given that kind of encouragement is a good thing, yes. you know. I'm sure you guys have gotten people telling you, you know, I, I, I like to see you and I admire you and stuff like that. Yes. It, it really um, does make a difference. So it's it good does. that, you know, you have that thought as um, you know a motivational factor to get to the competition. Now besides that, tell us a little about yourself. Who is Anya Erwin? Who is Francilia Austin? Outside of the pageantry, tell us a little of your background, where you came from, mm -hmm. uh, etc. 
Francilia Austin, first and foremost, is just a mm. Let's just put that out there. Okay, born and raised in the community of Cicero with my family. That is where I come from. I come from a Baptist background as well. Okay. That's where I was raised, and that's the church that I actually still go to mm -hmm. up to now. It's then Sunday. Hi, Pastor Henry. <laughs> but <laughs> I am a very bold mm -hmm. and confident individual. Nice. I have made sure that throughout the years that my education has been has taken the forefront of my journey through life. Mm -hmm. I am very honored to see that I have my bachelor's degree in hospitality management and when I completed that I graduated with first class honors. Very nice. And not only that, I was able to get the highest grade point average for the hospitality program which is what I majored in. Mm -hmm. So I was able to carry the country's flag mm -hmm. during graduation. So that for me is something that no one could ever take away. All right, you earn that. <laughs> I earned that. I work hard for that. Mm -hmm. I had acne for that. Okay, <laughs> like no stress, stress, because <laughs> I worked full time and I went to school full time. Ooh, so it was easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was crazy, but I stuck to it. Mm -hmm. I did my best and I came out victorious, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy about that. My experience in pageantry isn't as extensive as some, but I can say everything that I've done so far, I've done it well. Mm -hmm. And not because of anything but the work that I put in mm -hmm. to earn those titles. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of the person that I've become. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to the woman that I will be in a few years as well. So this is just one step mm -hmm. along my journey. And I'm looking forward to making it incredible. Thus far, it's been great. But I could definitely see in it being even more extraordinary. That's nice. And Anya, who is who is Anya Edwin? <laughs> I'm sure you know a little about me. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Anya Edwin is from the community of Marshall, which we all know as the home of Carnival, mm -hmm. the Carnival City. Mm -hmm. I'm very humble, very outspoken, very outgoing, very focused, very determined, goal oriented. Mm -hmm. Like Francis, well, Francis has already completed her degree, but I'm currently pursuing mine right. in business management at Monroe College. Congrats. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> um, apart, well, that's my educational background. Mm -hmm. What, what are some of the things you like doing? I'm currently employed as the secretary of the National Volunteer Coordinating Unit within mm -hmm. the office of the Prime Minister. Oh, okay. And during my spare time, I love to volunteer in community outreach activities, mm -hmm. and this was inspired through my job within the office of the Prime Minister. I love to dance, I love to socialize, mm -hmm. I love working on new projects, both local and, and regional. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love being in an atmosphere where it is empowering to not only me, but to the persons around me especially where it is youth oriented because mm -hmm. you're I'll, very passionate I'm about I'm very youth, very I because the youth the youth the youth is the future of mm -hmm. every country and many a times they're looked that, well sometimes they cause themselves to be looked in that way mm -hmm. looked at in that way but the uh, the people some persons always cast a bland eye on the youth and yeah. I, we have potential, mm -hmm. and I'm an example. I'm a living example of the youth and how far we can go and how much we can do. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I have that very huge passion for youth development, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that we're not left in the dark. Mm -hmm. nice. I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, before we wrap up, ladies, just encourage the public to come on out and support you. Your, I know each of you guys will have your team with their t-shirts and their banners and their posters making that. noise at NCC for you. Uh, but for the public who's uh, tuning in today, just uh, give them a little boost to come on out and support you on July 4th. Just before I mm -hmm. advertise for Carnival Queen pageant, mm -hmm. I would just like to encourage everybody to, part, well, not encourage alone, but to inform everybody mm -hmm. that the Peter Peter has launched the new <laughs> the new That's Carnival girl. promotion <laughs> <laughs> from 2015. It is a promotion where, well, for, for the first time, Peter is raffling a car, a Suzuki mm -hmm. Swift. Mm -hmm. 
along with other prices which include um, smartphones, tablets, Peter Carnival packs, UL vouchers, Carnival costume, event passes, cash, Peter boat rides. Once you drink lots of cold Peter bears, that right. is. And you get so, to win. Mm -hmm. So the Suzuki Swift, 2015 Suzuki, Suzuki Swift, and all these other valuable prices summed up to over one hundred and fifty thousand mm dollars. -hmm. My sponsor is in it big this That's year. Right. So you can simply collect six crowns with the with the car symbol, mm -hmm. fill out an entry form, mm -hmm. put it in an envelope, and you can drop them off at Winwood and Newwood Brewery mm -hmm. in the south. Mm -hmm. That's the main office. Northern Beverages Limited, that's in the north. Raymond and Company in Denry Valley and Walker and Company in Beaufort or at other designated bars island wide. Right. So Peter is giving away a big this carnival season. That's right. And maybe you might be in the back seat for the winner. I was <laughs> like, Ron, can you just give me that car, please? I, love that I, car. I, I think the car has my name written on it already. <laughs> anyway, I would just like to encourage everybody, every single person who will be in St. Lucia at the time to come support the It Beauties talented young ladies mm -hmm. vying for the coveted title of St. Lucia National Carnival Queen on July 4th, mm -hmm. 2015 at the National Culture Center from 8 p.m. It's going to be a show that nobody wants to miss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the, the cream of the crop in that, in that pageant this year, so everyone is encouraged to come out in huge numbers to support every single contestant. Right. I'm sure you will get a favorite contestant if you don't have one yet. That, well, naturally, yes. yes, 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 yes. So what about you, friends, Celia? I'd like to start by saying good morning to Team Digicel, mm -hmm. who is the platinum sponsor for Carnival 2015 throughout the island of St. Lucia. So good morning, everyone. I'd like to say come out July 4th, mm -hmm. because this is not the Carnival Queen pageant to miss. If you haven't seen the ladies, I'm sure you've heard about us. Okay, and if you know anything about any one of them, you know that they're not only beautiful, they're incredibly talented, mm -hmm. and they have an immense support system. You don't want to disappoint your girl. Mm -hmm. You don't want your girl to have less support mm -hmm. compared to the other girls. Come right. out and really show your support to these ladies, including myself and Anya, who will be there on the night and will be giving it our all. We will leave no stone and turned. Mm -hmm. We will be fabulous and we will be fierce. Mm -hmm. And we will definitely bring out the flea fire <laughs> of Carnival and St. Lucia. We will be turned, so, up. turned yeah. all the way up. <laughs> we will give you the show of a lifetime. Right. This is the queen, the kind of queen pageant that you don't want to miss because this is the most extraordinary one mm -hmm. okay and i think so you know the buzz that i'm hearing like everybody's expecting so Absolutely. i think the pressure is more from the crowd like what person is they're really expecting this to be a the big question one, that i've heard the most is will the cultural center have, have enough, enough space, space? I've heard that. because people are already asking for tickets and tickets mm -hmm. aren't even printed yet mm -hmm. okay so so that's good. like you my uh, my the new promotion by my sponsor digital mm -hmm. It just got better. It just got okay? better. Okay, <laughs> so don't miss it July 4th. Come out at the National Cultural Center, 8 p.m. to have the show of a lifetime. Don't miss it because, mm -hmm. believe me, you will regret it. I get a nice outfit. You're done, That's done, right. Come out looking come fabulous, okay, because yeah. this is the show. It's the show to the be The show, okay? <laughs> come out in your nines. Right. And your six inch heels, ladies. Ooh, that's pretty Because, tall. <laughs> I mean, the ladies on stage are going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. We're going to, listen, it's, 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 it's going to be on another level right. July 4th. So, mm -hmm. come out just, and just Not to cut you short, I don't support. think they should come with heels. No, they right. shouldn't. Because the heels might break. It might just have to up and going, going through the roof. They will have stage. fun, but it, they, they will maintain their class. Because when they, they see the ladies on stage, mm -hmm. they themselves will put themselves in such a fashion to to be proud of them, their own selves. Right. So they will be real back themselves. <laughs> going to be real back and So they're going to be amazing. They're going to have fun, but they're going to be fabulous. Classy so, back yeah. and That's right. All right. So finally, um, I'm, I'm going to ask every contestant this. If you had to describe, use one word to describe yourself out of the group of the eight ladies, I know what Francine is going to say. Do you? But what, what 
verb would you use? What word would you use to describe Francinia Austin? Blessed. Expected, but I like that. Response. I think she said that because, because I said she knew. Yeah. <laughs> Bless, I like that. I am I'm ecstatic. Ecstatic. Very good. <laughs> well, ladies, we're excited to see you on July 4th. We wish you all the best. Enjoy the journey. Thank you so much. And keep up the good work. We will. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you for having Thanks us. Have a good day, everyone.